Ethernet traffic is switched through the network based on VLAN tags within each frame. And the VLAN tags are really just identifiers within the data packets, which behave comparable to traditional circuit IDs. The VLAN tags enable multiple services to be combined on the same circuit. VLANs are simply a way to identify and separate traffic types, such as voice over IP, or departmental groups such as sales, finance, or operations. Now, historically, these traffic types have remained separated on physically different networks, but with VLAN tags, we can converge these traffic types onto a single network and still keep them separate from each other. VLANs are identified by a four-byte field within the standard Ethernet frame. This means that there is a mathematical limit of 4,096 VLAN IDs that can be created from the four-byte field and be used to differentiate communications on any given switch. This limitation is compounded by the fact that each end user can establish and send multiple VLAN tags. So it doesn't take much to quickly deplete the limited quantity of VLANs. A handful of end users could potentially consume all the available resources, and we need it to be completely available for tens of thousands of end users at any given time. The solution to this problem is known as VLAN stacking or tag stacking. 